All of a sudden we enter this strangest karaoke room. It's one of the craziest Wednesdays I've ever had. So I started the day, knocked out some work, exercised and stretched, took the train, headed to the city, met up with some friends. They invited me to Mr. Beast's show in Sydney, had fun, met some cool strangers, then we had dinner around a bonfire. Then around 6.22, just when I was about to leave, Lisa started berating these foreigners with a motivational speech. At this moment, I knew I was in for a crazy night. I was like, Liz, what's the plan tonight? And she told me. We're gonna make $500. We pulled up the Mr. Beast pocket hats in a circle, and she just started rapping. Like, all my support, we made no money. And she was like, maybe the vibe's not here. So we made Darling Harbour, and we saw these group of dancers, and I was like, hey, my friend here. She's been itching to dance. And 30 seconds later, she was in the zone. All of a sudden, after this intense dance, she was like, maybe we should rap to these security guards. And the security guards just like nodding along. Just when I thought the night was gonna end, I have a friend, jump on a FaceTime call, had a sheer coincidence, and he was on his way to the city, and he invited us along. The problem was, it was like 40 minutes away. This was just like, yo, we just hitchhiked. So imagine this Asian girl running around in a dress, going up to strangers' cars, and asking them for a ride. After a bunch of rejection, she was like, maybe we should just ride those electric bikes. She's crazy. Three, four, five lanes, not giving a fuck. We finally make it. Still playing live jazz music, or drinks. Liz was busting her moves out on the dance floor at 9 p.m., get some Thai food, and the night didn't end there. Now we're heading to karaoke. Dance then at 11 30, this just disappears. 15 minutes later, she comes back, pulls me and Karim out of the room, and she's like, you guys have been to the girls next door. Oh shit. At this point, I'm now just wearing a singlet, and all of a sudden we've entered this stranger's karaoke room, and there's these two fobs just singing Chinese karaoke. So after that room expired, we went back, and Liz continued going on her own side quest. And another 15 minutes later, she somehow brings a random girl named Amy. Now we're just all vibing. Now it's 12.50, finally leaving the karaoke spot. Yeah. So many crazy turns of events. What a night.